Hey guys, Mike Dugan, your AutoCAD guru. Let me show you how to create a dynamic block using array and stretch at the same time. Now this is the block that I've already made of a piece of flooring. Uh, it's six inches wide and I also threw in just for fun a hatch pattern in it. So let me show you how it works and then I'll show you how we got there. So let me grab the insertion point, bring it up to the subfloor and you can see my little house over here. <laughs> then I'm going to grab my grip, bring it over to the end of the room, and then on the right side here, I'm going to grab this grip, and that'll fill in anything that's left over. All right, that's basically how it works. Pretty nice. So let me just move it out of the way. I'm going to explode it and destroy all my work. <laughs> See what I do for you guys? I'm going to delete all of this and this. And we're just going to be left with a single polyline with a hatch. And obviously the hatch is optional. Okay, so let me take this. I'm going to create a block out of it by hitting B on my keyboard. And I'm going to call it my floor. Say OK. And for the insertion point, in this case, it should definitely be in the bottom because that's where you want to click it into the house later on, on top of the subfloor. Okay, now we have a regular block. Let's turn it into a dynamic block. So I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to choose the parameters tab and I'm looking for linear. So I'm going to start here on the right and then go to the left. And now I have my parameter. Okay, now we have a parameter. Let's shoot for an action. So we want to do an array Select the parameter. Well, we only have one. That's easy. <laughs> Select the objects. I'm going to just window everything. Hit enter. Now it says enter the distance between columns. Now the flooring is six inches wide without the tongue. So six inches is what I want. So enter six. Hit enter on the keyboard and I'm good. Let me close the block editor and let's see what we got. Okay, now I'm going to select it. And you can see this grip here. And sure enough, as I move my cursor over, a new piece of flooring appears every six inches. But take notice over here. I have another grip over here on the right side. Now, what happens when I move him? Well, the short answer is nothing good. Uh, right now, my my uh, insertion point is in no man's land. It's just It's just terrible. We don't want that. So let me double click on it edit the block again and this is the culprit right here we want to get rid of that grip so let me select the parameter and go down to number of grips and let me choose one and get rid of that pesky thing okay now let's just for fun take a look at it save changes and sure enough it's gone and our insertion point is where it belongs okay now i wanted to mention also and this is something that's kind of optional uh, kind of nice, but again, optional. You don't have to do this. Notice when I grab this insertion point, I only see a new piece of flooring appear after my cursor moves over that six inches. Let me show you something else you could do. I'm going to double click on it, go back into the editor, choose the parameter, and let me zoom over here to the properties window and see where it says distance type. Right now it says none. I'm going to choose increment. And the flooring is six inches wide. So for distance increment, I'm going to choose six. Now I'll close the block editor and let's see what we got. So now when I select it and click on that grip, you can see I get a tick mark every six inches. And as I zoom out, you can see that those tick marks go out forever. So obviously in a case like this, there's going to be a maximum size you're ever going to want for a room. Let's say it's, I don't know, 200 inches just for fun. So let me just double click on it and let's set a maximum. So again, I'll select the parameter, go back over here and see distance maximum. I'll enter 200, close the block editor, save the changes. And now when I select it, you can see the tick marks only go out to 200. And I wouldn't be able to go out any further than that if I wanted to. If for some reason I had a bigger room, I would have to update that. All right, now that gets us most of the way there. But again, unless your room is exactly an increment of six inches, you're going to wind up with a little bit of leftover space. So let's do something about that. 
So let me double click again, go into the block editor again, and I'm going to grab this geometry and make a copy of it. So I'm going to go CO for copy. I can click anywhere really. And just with ortho on, I'm going to go over to the right and enter six because that's how wide my flooring is. And that'll snap in another piece of flooring right over here, exactly to the right of the existing piece. Now let me get rid of this tongue because we're not going to need that. I'm just going to stretch this over and we're going to lose that tongue. Okay. Now let's get a parameter going for this piece that we just made. And to do that, go to parameters, linear. This time I'm going to start on the left, finish on the right. And just like before, we want to change the number of grips to one. And then we will choose actions, stretch, select the parameter, choose the grip, create a window around it, and then select the geometry, hit enter, close the block editor, save the changes. Let's see what we got now. Now when I select my geometry, I can still move this back and forth like I was doing before, but now I can make this actually wider than six, obviously, if I want to do, or I can make that smaller. So in practice, I would just bring this up, get it in the ballpark, bring this over one more, then just move it to the end of the room and then select it one last time and stretch it all the way to the end to fill it in. That's it. All right, now we both know that you found it useful. We, that's just the thing. We know that's true. So we know what you're supposed to do right now. I'm not even going to tell you. You know what you need to do. <laughs> All right. Joking aside. Um, I've enjoyed it. Hope you have too. This has been Mike Dugan signing off and we'll see you next time. So long.